Ready for right hand man? Ready? Three, two, one, go. British and Ohio's got troops on the water. Under General Montgomery, till he caught a bullet in the neck in Quebec. And well, in summary, I think that I could be of some assistance. I admire how you keep firing on the British from a distance. <laughs> I have some questions, a couple of suggestions on how to fight instead of fleeing west. Yes. Well, Your Excellency, you wanted to see me. Hamilton, come in. Have you met Burr? Yes, sir. We, we keep, keep meeting. meeting. As I was saying, sir, I look forward to seeing your strategy play out. Burr? Sir. Close the door on your way out. I done something wrong, sir. On the contrary, I called you here because our odds are beyond scary. Your reputation precedes you, but I have to laugh. Sir. Hamilton, how come no one can get you on their staff? Sir. Don't get me wrong, you're a young man of great renown. I know you stole British cannons when we were still downtown. Nathaniel Green and Henry Knox wanted to hire you. To be their secretary? I don't think so. Now why are you upset? I'm not. It's all right, you want to fight, you got a hunger. I was just like you when I was younger. Head full of fantasies of dying like a martyr? Yes. Dying is easy, young man. Living is harder. Why are you telling me this? I'm being honest. I'm working with a third of what our Congress has promised. We are a powder keg about to explode. I need someone like you to lighten the load. So? I am not throwing away my shots. Not throwing away my shot. Son, we are outgunned, outmanned. I need all the help we can get. I have some friends, Lawrence Mulligan, Marquis de Lafayette, okay, what else? Outnumbered, outmanned. I need some spies on the inside, St. King's men who might let some things slide. I write to Congress and tell them we need supplies. You rally the guys, master the element of surprise. I rise above my station, organ 
ignite your information till we rise to the occasion of our new nation, sir. Here comes the general.